I hope you are watching all the videos seriously and completing your work in your class work for you. In your previous video, you have learned about environment, pollution and different types of pollution. In today's video, you will learn about greenhouse effect and how to save environment from greenhouse effect. Children, do you know the greenhouse effect was first identified by Fourier in 1827? Every day, vast amount of heat and light travel across the space from the uh, sun to the planet Earth. Children, as you can see, the planet is protected by the blue line that represents planet's atmosphere. The atmosphere of the earth blocks the heat waves from the sun and allows sunlight to enter. The sunlight heats the surface of the earth. At night, some of this heat is emitted back into the space. However, a part of this heat is trapped by the atmosphere and this keeps the earth warm and suitable for life existence. Phenomenon is called greenhouse effect. The gases that are responsible for greenhouse effect are called greenhouse gases. The major constituent of greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor and ozone. This principle is used to grow healthy plants. In cold climates, the plants are grown inside the glass building. Glass because glass allows light to enter the building. The light energy increases the inside temperature. The glass building traps the heat and prevents its escape outside. Do you know? These greenhouse gases are good, but excessive of anything is bad. As we build the more and more greenhouse gases through burning fossil fuels and other forms of pollution, it leads to the rise in temperature of the earth. This is known as global warming. It is increasing day by day. If the temperature keeps increasing, there would be destruction all around. Children, do you know what type of destruction? Ice at the poles will melt. The water level in the ocean, water level in the ocean will rise and that will cause massive floods. Children, now you have learned about the greenhouse effect and greenhouse gases. Now, I am going to explain some of the, the greenhouse gases in brief. Carbon dioxide in the air is increasing at an alarming rate. It is due to various human activities such as deforestation, burning of wood and excessive use of fossil fuels. It is one of the major contributors of the global warming. Second is methane. It is a natural gas. It is another major contributor to global warming. Methane is released from landfills, wetlands and rice paddies. Many herbivores also release methane into the air while digesting food combustion of fossil fuels also result in the em emission of methane gas. Water vapor. It is the earth's most abundant greenhouse gas. It is responsible for 66 to 85 percent of the greenhouse effect. Next is ozone. Urbanization and industrialization are the major cause of increase in the amount of ozone. Next, we will learn how to save the environment. Some of the steps taken by our government to save the environment 
are alternative sources of energy such as solar and wind power to be used in place of electric energy. Second, factories shall be shifted away from the main city. Also, factories are asked to convert harmful substances into harmless substances before releasing them. Next, planting of trees is being encouraged. Farmers are being encouraged to use natural fertilizers. In many cities such as Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, use of thin polythene bags has been banned. Delhi is badly affected by pollution. So, catalytic converter have been made compulsory in cars. Only CNG buses are allowed to run on the roads. Vehicles which are more than 50 years old are not allowed to run on the roads. As children, now how can you help the environment? Use paper bags or jute bags to carry things. Avoid using polythene bags. Use bicycle for short distance. Do not waste food, water and paper. Plant trees in your school, at home and in your neighborhood. Use electricity carefully. Switch off the fans and light when it is not needed. Use compost, composting manure instead of chemicals. So children, you have learned about greenhouse effect and green how to save our environment. Thank you.